Okay, good morning, everyone. This is Leilani, Business Development Manager at TAG. Welcome to our weekly webinar. Every Wednesday, we hold these webinars to offer uh, resources, tips, and product demos. Um, and today's topic is Sage 300 CRE's Property Management Module. We've invited our uh, subject matter expert, um, Terry, to uh, give us a tour of this module and everything that it's capable of. But I will go ahead and just start off with a little bit of background information about this module and everything that we might cover today. So this, this um, module is um, a great tool, um, especially for our, our companies, our construction companies that are utilizing Sage 300 CRE for that job cost and project management capability. Um, you've got um, tons of, of tools there, but those developers and those firms that also have um, properties that they need to manage, they might have complex um, leases, tenant structures, um, different things that they're offering. You have a very robust module here that's going to be capable of tracking all of that information for you, um, all of your AR processing and rent rolls and things like that as well. So you've got a lot of different options, a lot of different processes that you can set up that Terry will um, get into, um, and also a lot of reporting. Um, you may or may not know that Sage 300 CRE is very robust in its reporting capabilities um, for multi-entity um, consolidated financials and all of that good stuff. So um, Sage 300 CRE's property management module is um, you know, right up there with that in terms of its reporting capabilities. So these are just some of the benefits that you're gonna find in Sage 300 Series property management module. It's integrated into the rest of this systems accounting, which again is very robust in um, what it offers uh, in terms of financial statement capabilities, reporting on, um, job cost, consolidations, intercompany transactions, all of that um, is going to be tightly integrated with the rest of um, these capabilities in property management. So you've got your billing and fee collection, you've got retail lease management capabilities, and a ton and ton of reports. So with that, I'm going to hand it off to um, Terry. We've been uh, working with Terry, who is, again, our subject matter expert um, with this module. She handles a lot of um, our uh, kicking off um, this module for our implementation and customizes and sets this up. Um, she's got a ton of knowledge, 25 years of experience um, serving Sage 300 CRE customers. So with that, Terry, I'll go ahead and uh, kick it off to you and, and you can go ahead and share your screen so that you could get into the demonstration. All right. Well, thank you, Leilani, and thank you and welcome for attending. And um, just to give you a couple of, just a little bit of information on my background, I have been working with Sage Software for well over 25 years, and I actually worked for the manufacturer for a while doing support. So I've been doing this a long time. Now I'm more out in the field doing support and installations and um, all kinds of, uh, this just supporting the entire product, including designing reports and everything. So with that, I will go ahead and get started. So back to the desktop. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with the TAG group here, doing some installations. And so today my goal would be to hopefully give uh, those of you watching a good rounded idea of what property management can do for you uh, with the Sage suite of products. We will hopefully be able to give you a good idea of what this uh, product can do for you and how it kind of fits into the rest of the Sage group of products. So we're looking here at the main desktop and I have the property manager desktop up on the screen here. So catered more to what you guys are doing or what what you're doing as a company, you can change your desktop screen. Um, I have worked with several uh, contractors and developers who have added this particular uh, program into the rest of the suite of products. So as you can see, it just sits out here as an additional uh, program to the rest of the products. It interfaces with the GL, the cash management, and all the other products 
uh, the other Sage accounting products. So just to give you a quick idea of how it does that, um, this, I won't stay too long in PowerPoint, this is just one slide, but as you can see, property management sitting out here as its separate, um, separate program, but it does, it is single point entry like most of the other Sage products. When you make an entry in property management, of course, it feeds the general ledger. It also feeds cash management. And there are some other interesting ways it interfaces with the other applications. So of course, in property management, you might have security deposits. So when you say have someone move out and you refund a security deposit, it interfaces with accounts payable in that it actually sends the deposit to AP as an invoice. So there's no multiple entering in AP. You just go to accounts payable and the invoice is there ready to pay. And then accounts payable can also send back to property management in the way of what we call chargebacks. So if you are paying an invoice and you need to charge one of your tenants for what you're paying, then in accounts payable, you can go out and charge back that tenant when you're entering the invoice. So nice feature there for that. And then we also have a couple of nice interfaces with the GL. Of course, everything you enter in PM goes to the general ledger, but there's also an interface from the GL back to property management where it allows you to pull the expenses for CAM reconciliation. So property management, you can bill, obviously you bill for, for a CAM monthly basis. Then at your leisure, when you decide you actually need to uh, reconcile for CAM, some people do it every six months, some people do it every year, it will look into the GL and see what was expensed versus what you charged in property management and do a reconciliation for you. So those are all nice interfaces, you know, single point entry. You don't have to go out of PM to do other things. It interfaces with the other products. And as Terry said, there's much more that we could go into. So we are happy to schedule a, a follow up another time to go into things with a little bit more detail, talk about some custom things. Um, and we'll see you next week for next week's webinar.